Hazards are things with the potential to cause harm. They can be categorised according to certain characteristics. Mechanical hazards, for example, moving parts of machinery or moving vehicles. Physical hazards, for example, noise or vibration energy, radiation or electricity. Biological hazards, for example, Legionella bacteria or bloodborne viruses. Chemical hazards, for example, corrosive or toxic cleaning chemicals. Environmental hazards, for example, cold or hot environments. And organisational hazards, for example, lack of resources or a poor workplace culture. The approaches to hazard identification will vary from workplace to workplace, depending on the complexity of the business and the hazards present. It's important that a consistent approach is determined to ensure that significant hazards are proactively identified. The following tools and approaches can be useful in most workplaces. Workforce involvement. Asking the employees or their representatives for their opinion. The people directly involved in tasks and processes will be very aware of any serious concerns. Workplace inspections. Looking around the workplace to identify any obvious concerns. External information and advice. The HSE website, hse.gov.uk, has readily available advice on common hazards and practical controls. Trade associations often produce helpful guidance. And manufacturers instructions and data sheets can be very helpful in identifying specific hazards and controls. Historical records. Accident and ill health records can often help to identify the less obvious hazards, including hazards to health, for example, from exposure to high levels of noise or harmful fumes.